Hello again, I'm Lou Trefan, um, here as always with episode um, 16 of the Fight Club Pro Save on TW 2020. Um, thank you as always for people who've been following and subscribing so far. Much appreciated. Like I said, the TW 2020 community is um, a good community to be in. They are very um, welcoming and helpful, so I really appreciate it. Um, where you left us off last episode, we um, did a couple more Afterburn episodes. Um, unfortunately, we've had three of our best workers poached, and it's really annoying because I finally got back on track because I managed to boost them around backstage um, rating and stuff like that, so the workers started performing better again. Um, typically, um, the wrestlers that are performing the best get poached, which is, which is just part of life in wrestling. So we no longer, uh, I think we might have them for a little bit longer because their official written contracts don't start uh, until probably next month. But we've got, we've got, we haven't got Nathan Cruz or Morgan Webster or um, who's the other one? Uh, Kenny Williams for much longer. So we've just got to make the most of them while we can. And in the meantime, we've got to try and either find wrestlers from the roster already to replace them or we've got to find ones from outside the roster who can come in and do a job for us. So... We've got our work cut out, but yeah, I'll be back in a minute with the first part of the episode. Right, so here we are, um, Fight Club Pro. So um, yeah, so last episode, I was massively in debt, 332 grand. We keep losing money every month, so from now on, I'm gonna have to, until we can uh, do something about it ourselves, I'm just gonna have to use the editor and edit it uh, whenever we get in debt. So yeah, that's just how it is because I don't want this save to die. I'm quite enjoying it to be honest. Uh, I think the rest. I think ninety nine percent people will probably understand why I've done it. I know it's technically cheating. I know it's not sticking to what we want to do. But like I said at the end of the day, I can't until I can get more popular and a better TV deal. I'm just going to be in debt. Um, we can downgrade the production, but I think that would I think that would not be a good thing to do. So for now, we'll leave it. I will, um, we're still currently upgrading the merchandise department, so that'll take a while as well. But yeah, so we've got our next show, which is Afterburn episode 10. I think we've still got, like I said, another week or so. We've still got uh, Morgan Webster, Kenny Williams, and Nathan Cruz. So um, we'll use them at some point in this episode. Um, Johnny Kidd continues to pass on his psychology tips to Blue Kane. Uh, Blue Kane hasn't had a match for a while, so we'll put him in a match, I think. So we'll have him start the show. I'll have him in a four-way match. Blue Kane versus Kenny Williams, Nathan Cruz, and Morgan Webster. What we'll do is We'll have Blue Cane win because he's the only one staying. I don't care. You'll just have to get over it, everyone. Um, so that's the first match done. Just do an angle with Blue Cane Entertainment, Morgan Webster Entertainment, Kenny Williams, same, and then Nathan Cruz Entertainment. Actually, no, I'm going to change this. They won't, they don't want him to win. I don't want to upset the morale just yet. Just being in the match will help him, I think. Be honest. So that's that. Right, next match we'll do we'll do a four way. We might as well just do a few four way matches on this one. And we'll do Ginny versus Keller Kelly versus Hayley Ray. Who's the other one? Who else? Masha. And we'll put the women's title on the line. Women's match. There you go. We'll leave it blank. So we'll, we'll leave it to the AI. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? But oh, who's the women's champion then? I can't even remember who the champions are on my roster. Oh, Ali won it. Oh, okay. So we'll swap these. Swap Kaylee. Oh, we can't have. Oh, we can. Ali. There you go. Yeah, we'll leave it blank. So Ali might not be the women's champion for very long, but we'll see. And then we'll just do an angle. Then microphone, Ginny. We'll put everybody scripted. I know that um, Ginny needs to be on scripted for it to work. Ali, Ginny, Killer Kelly, and Masha. There you go. Like so. So that's that done. Right, and we've got we've got potentially seventeen minutes. We'll do we'll just do a normal fifteen minute uh, match, and we'll do friends because he hasn't wrestled for a while. Um, probably do Chris Saban. Who else? Matt Hardy. No, not Matt Hardy because he hasn't. He's not wrestling very good. Uh, I keep forgetting to edit Matt Hardy. I need to do that after this episode. 
before I forget again. Thomas Billington. Thomas Billington's going to get a bit of a push from me. You might see him as the champion one day. Uh, Mark Andrews, there you go. Let's try 17 minutes. We'll leave it blank, so you might, we might get a new champion. We've got to do slightly less. Oh, uh, yeah. I was off by a couple of minutes. Um, what, we'll, what we'll do then is we'll change these angles to five minutes each. Uh, that cuts. There you go. So then all we've got to do now is probably cut. We've just got to cut one minute from this match because we don't want the main event to suffer. There we go. So let's get cracking. So the angle with Blue Kane, Morgan Webster, Kenny Williams and Nathan Cruz got a 69. Um, Morgan Webster was the real star in the segment. Blue Kane performed poorly in the segment. Blue Kane struggled with going off scripts when you keep them on script next time. Nathan Cruz was terrible with no scripts when you put him on script next time. So we need to change Blue Kane's gimmick as well. 82. 82 with a match with Blue Kane in Uda 40 today. Eh? Blue Kane getting a 40. So obviously having him with a, in a match with really good workers ups his game. So that's good. Um, 82. So who won? Morgan Webster. There you go. Angle with the four women got 45 rating. Masha Slamovic looked, uh, looked dreadful in the segment. So we need to not have her in any more angles from now on. 71 match rating. Uh, Ali retains the title. You had an uh, outstanding performance by Ginny and Kelly Kelly. Ginny has unfortunately sustained a minor concussion. Uh, Masha was the weak link of the, of the match here. Ali did her bit as well. And then the main event, which was um, Trent Seven versus Chris Seven versus Tommy, Tommy Billington versus Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews defeats Chris Seven. Thomas Billington, Trent Seven. Um, so we've got a new champion, everybody, which I'm happy about because Mark Andrews is amazing. So we're just going to have him in uh, singles matches now, defending the title for as long as we have him before somebody poaches him off him as well. But yeah, Thomas Billington, 70, 76, I think that says. Um, Trent and Chris Saban, not too good, but overall, not a bad main event. Uh, we increased our popularity in one region, 77 overall rating. And we got 106 people in, so that's really good. I'm quite happy with that. I'm really happy with Mark Andrews as because he's one of our few workers that we've got left that are really good. So we can have him in singles matches, um, defending the title, hopefully have him as a, a longer reign as possible. Um, in the meantime, we'll try him in matches with other wrestlers and see who works out well against him. Um, I think I might try him versus Eddie Dennis at the next, uh, the next, at the uh, the big event maybe. We'll see. Or the next after the burn show. Yeah, Ginny's injured. We got three thousand one hundred twenty-one, which I think is the best viewing figures so far. Uh, I just need to do this. No, so Ginny's out for six days, and the rest we're not too bothered about. But um, yeah, we've lost. We're losing money every show now. We're losing about 50 grand every show. So it's uh, it's not good. Right, when's the next show? Okay, so I'll be back in a second when the next show starts. Right, welcome back. Um, we've got the next episode of Afterburn. Let's just see if there's any major absentees. Um, not really that I can see. Yeah, so Mark Andrews is going to defend his heavyweight title in the main event. We're going to have Blue Kane versus... I'll do a triple threat. Oh no, Blue Kane, this is Big T Justice versus, uh, we'll just throw Derice in there. Will be a pre-show match because of the wrestlers in the ring aren't the best. Derice is pretty good though. It's just to give Blue Kane a win like that. And then what we'll do now, we'll do the open the show. And we'll have one-on-one -on -one match. And we'll do A-Kid versus Eddie Dennis. Hopefully Eddie Dennis is pretty good. We'll have Eddie Dennis win. And then we'll do an angle afterwards with Eddie Dennis attacking A-Kid. Right, now what we'll do is women's match. Do Ginny versus Ali. The women's title. We'll have Ali win this. Uh, we'll do an angle afterwards as well. Uh, Ginny attacks Ali. There you go. Right, and then we have the main event. We've got try 17 minutes. Um, right, Baxter keeps trying. My dog Baxter keeps trying to jump on my lap while I'm recording. It's really annoying. He's a very needy dog. Um, but I love him. Right, so we're going to have Mark Andrews defend his title against Kenny Williams, Nathan Cruz, uh, Morgan Webster. We'll have Mark Andrews win. What we're going to do is we're going to try steal the show, see if that helps the match 
at all. Might not, might make it worse, but we'll see. Uh, 55 and 65, we've done 61, so we can do a little bit more. But we'll just do it at 20. Right then, let's see. Hold on, let me just check. Yep, yeah, let's just see how we get on. So, pre show match, uh, Blue Kane won, and I got 47. Blue Kane was really off his game, unfortunately. Uh, Blue Kane has improved because he's he, he was not against two other wrestlers that, that it, like the last show he was against really good wrestlers so I assume that was the reason why he's had a boost but his in-ring performance is up to 40 before it was 30 so you never know we might make him a good worker after all uh, unfortunately he's injured though so he might be out for a while um, Eddie Dennis defeated A-Kid got a 70 rating Eddie Dennis 69 which ain't too bad the angle afterwards got a 45 um, Ali defeated Ginny oh we forgot to put that we meant to put that at 15 minutes um, we got a 75 though so not too bad and the afterwards got a 66 and then Mark Andrews uh, successfully defended his title in a four way match got an 81 rating and um, we could have done with better colour commentary and announcing but 81 ain't too bad uh, 76 overall we didn't improve popularity but we got 105 people in which is probably really good for an uh, for for the show so i'm quite happy with that um, we did really well lots of good things in that show to be happy about uh the next show we've got i think is the the big event so we can have more matches we can try and do some really good matches as well because all the morale is pretty good so, um mark andrews loan to crush oh for god's sake <sighs> not what i need uh 3885 hopefully mark andrews can at least be in this show here he's in four days time um we'll soon find out um let me have a look medical how long is Blue Kane out for? Oh, he's only out for six days. It's fine. Right, I'm back in a sec with the next part. Of the right, so here we are. We've got the Project White Wolf uh, events. So hopefully this will bring us in some money with all these people um, broadcasting it. Uh, just uh, usual passing these microphone skills. So Johnny Kidd hopefully is helping Blue Kane. So what we'll do then is... We'll book an angle with Blue Kane, oh, so we'll have him on the microphone, but we'll just do it as a pre-show thing. So that Blue Kane on the microphone, and then who do we have? Blue, we'll have a match with Blue Kane. Who should we have him against? Put Paul London in the microphone, and we'll have a match. We'll have Blue Kane versus Paul London as a pre-show match. Ah, oh, forgot. He's carrying an injury, but we'll see. We'll just leave it at 10 minutes then. That blue came weird. Uh, oh, I forgot to put that as a pre show match. There we go. Right, so then let's kick off the show. Let's have a good singles match. We'll have, let's have a women's match then. So we'll have Ginny versus Killer Kelly. Um, we'll go 17 minutes for that one. And then we'll add an angle there. So we'll do Ginny, microphone, Killer Kelly, microphone. We'll script both these. Uh, right, next match. So we'll have Nathan Cruz versus I think Charlie Dempsey might be no actually no because they probably won't rate Charlie Dempsey well on this maybe Dave Musty uh, there we go male dirty flush there we go we'll do Kenny Williams versus um, who do we have Kenny Williams against Martin Stone we'll have Martin Stone in the try him out see if he's any good do an angle afterwards where Kenny Williams can attack um, Martin Stone um, right how are we doing so far so we've done 65 minutes we've got another 65 minutes to go so we'll do a tag team match now um, male tag team pretty deadly well, pretty deadly against um, tenders Just have that as 12 minutes, I think. Um, no, they're not the tag champions, are they? Right. And what we'll do is another singles match. And we'll have um, Alan Angels versus Morgan Webster. 18 minutes. Um, do another match. We'll do Trent Thomas. No, we'll do Thomas, sorry. Thomas Billington versus Rich Swan. We'll have Thomas Billington winning. Um, do an angle before the show. Thomas Billington, microphone, Rich Swan, microphone as well. we'll script these just to be on the safe side. Um, we've got probably one more match in us, I reckon. Um, 
So we'll do a main event now. Mark Andrews. Yes, we can have Mark Andrews in this. That's good. So we'll have him going against... Not Eddie Dennis, because he didn't impress me. Maybe Joseph Connors. He'd like us too, actually. Is there anybody better, just to be honest, just in case? No, actually, maybe Al Phantasma might be better. No, we'll leave Kid like us. We'll give him the main event. We'll do 20 minutes. He's still the show. Now, what we need to do, because what we usually do is we don't have... Actually, no, we'll leave this. Uh, no, Jim Small, we need to replace you. Jerry Styles, completely forgot we had Jerry Styles. Uh, yeah, so we'll just have Jerry Styles main event in, uh, announcing the main event in this, see if that makes an improvement. Anyway, we need to Mark Andrews win this. Right, there we go. Um, we're all good. Right, so the angle with Blue Kane and Paul London. I uh, got a 45. It's very poor when trying to improvise dialogue, so we should... I thought we scripted him. Oh, I don't know. Oh, improvised dialogue. So I think ne next time we just have him not scripting. Uh, the match didn't do particularly well. 38 rating, but luckily because it's pre-show, we're not affect it. Blue Kane with a 40. Paul London rated poorly on here. I need to edit Paul London as well. Matt Hardy and Paul London. Also, it didn't help that Blue Kane had an injury. Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, Angle with Ginny and Killer Kelly got 59 rating. Uh, the match got an 82, which is really good to see. Ginny defeated Killer Kelly. The announcing... Oh, okay, right, we need to quickly... Before we do anything else, we need to get rid of Brad Myers. So we'll do Jerry Styles. Uh, Jerry Styles. It's a shame, really, because Brad Myers is rated quite highly on here for some reason, so I just assumed he'd be good. Right, so I've uh, managed to edit so Brad Myers is not announcing any more of the rest of the show, so let's see how we get on with the rest of the show. Uh, 72 rate for the Nathan Cruz, Jody Fleisch match. Jody Fleisch... Very underrated on this database, 33. He is old. He is getting on a bit, though. But still got a 72 rating, so that's not too bad. That's because uh, of Nathan Cruz. Uh, 65 rating. Oh, that's a shame. Kenny Williams. Uh, Kenny Williams underperformed. They don't seem to have any chemistry as well. Um, Martin Stone is rubbish, so we're going to get rid of Martin Stone after this show. We'll get rid of Jody Fleisch as well, I think. All right, Contenders defeated pretty deadly. Got a 77 rating, so that's good. Uh, 81 for Kelly, 6. 59 for Curtis Chapman. So maybe I'll get rid of Curtis Chapman and have Kelly Six as a single star. So that might be good uh, looking forward. Maybe he can fill the gap like of Nathan Cruz or Kenny Williams and that. Morgan Webster defeated Alan Andrews, got an 81 rating. Uh, Alan Andrews is with just a 61 though. Uh, angle with Thomas Billington and Rich Swan got a 53. Match got a 78. So Thomas Billington could be one to step up as well. Uh he got a 66 though actually, but uh, Rich Swan. So there you go. We can we can put Rich Swan in there, I think. And then the main event got a 76. Uh, Mark Andrews with 82. Kid like us two with a 72, which I'm surprised about. They don't click. That's probably why. Still got a 76, so not too bad. We've increased our popularity in 55 regions. We've got a 74 rating, and we've got 181 people, which are which is the highest we've ever had. So that's really good. Yeah, Kelly Six, I think we need to push him as a single star. Thomas Billington. So them two can be replacements for the, the three that are leaving soon. So I'm assuming that that's the last show that we can have uh, Morgan Webster, Nathan Cruz and Kenny Williams on. Uh, we've also got Joseph Connors as well, who's pretty good when called upon. We can start pushing them. Oh, by the looks of it, we've still got them for a bit longer. Uh Morgan Webster is feeling the effects of grueling schedule. Um, so we'll just leave Morgan Webster for a week, see how he gets on. Uh, 3,900 viewers and we have 17,600 viewers overall. That's really good as well. But 228 million we've lost. 228,000, sorry. So uh, yeah, not the best. Let's have a look at the finances. So yeah, performance-wise, we... We're minus 225,000. Ticket sales, we made 2,754. Broadcast and revenue, we made 2,000. Sponsors, 13 and a half. Merchandise, 2,200, which is up from the last couple of shows. Alliance, 78,000. And then outgoings, 170,000 for workers. Show cost is 14,000. Marketing was 500. 3,000 costs for merchandise. So having merchandise is actually costing us money at this point. Production is 135 grand. And then media costs us 1,000. So yeah, we need to do something about that in the long run. Um, but yeah, right. Our next show is Afterburn. So we're back for the final show of the episode. Um, Afterburn, episode 12. Let's just have a look at the backstage incidents. So Paul London gave the locker room a lift by um, when he unveiled a series of spot-on impressions of some of his colleagues. Um, so that's good. Have a look, he was absent. Uh, nobody worth worrying about. 
so that's good. So we've still got, um, so I'm assuming we haven't, even though they're on a written contract, I assume we've still got them for a, a month or two, so I panicked over nothing, but it's good to know that we've got wrestlers in place. So um, what I'm going to do is Kelly Six can go against, no, 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 Morgan Webb, no, not Morgan Webb, so he's uh, knackered in. Nathan Cruz, so we'll try him out. 15 minutes, we'll have Kelly Six win this, and then we'll just do an angle uh, before the show. Kelly Six, get him on the mic, like so, so there you go. Um, do a tag team match, uh, we'll have POD versus the new element, I think, and we'll have POD win this one. Uh, we'll do an angle before the sh before the, uh, after the match as well, where we'll have Kenny and uh, Joseph Connors find him, where is he? Yeah. Attacking them after the match, that's that. Right, so we've got 46 minutes, we've got enough time for a main event, and we'll have the main event of Mark Andrews versus, we'll go with Eddie Dennis for this one, see how he gets on, I believe it's 15 minutes, heavyweight title, Mark Andrews winner, go storytelling for this one, see if that makes any difference. Right, and let's start the show. Uh, angle with Kelly 6 and Nathan Cruz got a 50, oh, 82 match. That's good. 77 rank for Kelly 6. 86 for um, Nathan Cruz. Kelly 6 with the win. 86, Jesus Christ. 86 for New Element versus POD. Joseph Connors has improved his in-ring ability, so he's going to get a push as a single star when, if Kenny Williams does decide to, he does go permanently away from us. Uh, Rampage Brown got 77, so we can put him as a singles wrestler. Aston Smith being the weak link of the team, but overall it was a really good match. Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams showed excellent chemistry together. So 60 rating for the angle afterwards. And then 83 for the main event, which is really good. Um, 91 rating for Mark Andrews. 65 for Eddie Denson, not too bad. But yeah, Mark Andrews defends his title for the, successfully for the third time. So really, really good show there. Lots of positives. 108 people. Uh, increased the popularity in one region. 78 rating overall. Probably literally one of the most perfect afterburn shows we've done. So good, good, good. Right then, Josh, I'm going to stay quiet for a few seconds now. And then when this comes back, I'll start talking again, buddy. So if you just want to edit this bit out that'd be great thank you right so that's that that's we're doing well there um 0.01 3043 people watched uh let's just see if we can uh before we carry on before we leave it for today sorry um no new people new broadcasters but that's all right but yeah we're losing money so bad at the moment 17 percent prestige so uh our momentum's going down though which i don't i don't know why but yeah we haven't got a show now until um six days so we're just gonna call it a day and then offline i'll fix a few things like these morale issues i'm gonna also have a look around see if there's any wrestlers we can hire um but overall good show let's just quickly have a look at the creative I still think that Matt, uh, Chris Saban and Matt Seidel should be the main people here. Cara Noir as well. Nathan Cruz, Killer Kelly. Next Big Things, Vipers, Luke Jacobs, Zy Brookside, Al Angel, Sebastian Slamovich. Well, it's probably basically the same for Hot Prospect. Best people on the mic, Matt Hardy, Chris Saban, Tom Lawler, Ali, Chris Hero. Showstoppers, Chris Saban, Nathan Cruz, Matt Seidel, Cara Noir, Mark Andrews. Ring Generals are Nathan Cruz, Morgan Webster, Chris Saban, Mark Andrews and Killer Kelly. Who's hot? Morgan Webster, Joseph. Connors, Ginny, uh, Mark Andrews, and Kenny Williams. Who's not? Wild War, Leighton Buzzard, Stevie Xavier, Luke Jacob, Joe Henry. And that's how quick hidden gems. Isn't really anybody there that stands out for me to sign. So, yeah, so on that note, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, but thank you as always for supporting me. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me, please subscribe. Please like the video um and also leave a comment as well let me know what i'm doing good in the game let me know what i'm doing bad i always appreciate advice the person who left me advice um after the last episode that i put on here was really good advice it really helped me it fixed the problem i was having which is what i wanted so i really appreciate the community coming out and helping me on this but yeah i'll be back next week with uh, another episode and enjoy the rest of the weekend all the best bye